guys so today i just wanted to do a very easy and wearable daytime kind of smoky eye so this is what i came up with i pulled out this dress which is khaki in color and i got this one from h&m it's super loose and comfy and it's a shirt dress so i decided to match my smoky eye with this today so I started by filling my brows with an angled brush and I'm using the Body Shop Brow and Liner Kit. I usually mix these two colors up together and uh, you know just feather light strokes in all those areas which are slightly sparse and go back and forth between the two brows and try to match them to the best of my ability. To set everything in place, I have the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Love the skinny wand on this one and the tinted brow gel. Just works so well for me. Next, I'm using Lane Low from MAC. This is the Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and I'm taking a concealer brush and using this as my eyeshadow primer. The peach undertone in this primer makes it the most perfect primer for Indian skin. Just try it out, you'll love it. So I have these shadow shields uh, which are basically just uh, stickies which you can stick under your eyes because I've already done my base and I don't want to ruin that. I'm just angling them and yep this will prevent all the fallout. I've taken this peachy eyeshadow from Inglot. It's 368 and my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to work this up above my crease as my transition shade. Then I've taken the Catrice Cosmetics Made to Stay Long Lasting Eyeshadow in the color Metal of Honor with my MAC 215 and I'm just uh, laying it down close to my lash line and slowly smudging it upwards um, you know just till maybe the half of my eyelid but not right up to the top. This eyeshadow is called Club. It's a satin finish from MAC and again I'm taking my MAC 217 and just working this in the outer third and um, you know a little bit in windshield wiper motions around the socket. For the lower lash line, I took the same eyeshadow on a pencil brush and just smudged it underneath. For a soft brow bone highlight, I've taken the Makeup Geeks eyeshadow in Shimmer Shimmer and a MAC 286 brush. Shadow Shields, your work here is done. Ow, ow, that hurt a little bit. So these shields left a stark line and I decided to just you know blend them out with my MAC 217 and just clean out the edges to make them super neat and you know just how I want them. Hmm, the shields also stripped off some of that under eye concealer so I'm just touching that up with MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. Onto the Sephora Retractable Eyeliner in Matte Moss. Uh, this is what I'm using on my lash line. Just, uh, you know, rough dashes around the lash line because I'm going to use the smudger on the back side and just smoke it out to give a nice smudgy and, you know, that sultry sort of effect. I ran the same smudger on the lower lash line, um, you know, with whatever was on it to sort of give it that same smoky effect. I think I like what I have going on here, so I'm just going to move on to my eyelash curler and make sure the lashes get a nice tight curl and have a lot of lift to them. For mascara, I have the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I swear this is the most bomb mascara I have ever used from the drugstore. Just give it a try if you can, you will love this one. And now I'm just going to lightly sculpt with my angled blush brush and the NYX blush in the color Taupe which is another gem from the American drugstore.
Next, I have my Elena Bardrow blush brush and the e.l.f. blush palette in the color light. And I'm using this uh, corally peachy shade and just going to deposit some of this on the apples of my cheeks very lightly. I don't want too much color because I'm going to use a very bright lipstick. So I picked up the Maybelline Lip Gradation in the color Pink 2 from New You and I am just going to use this on my lips and I basically just sort of fill in the color and use the smudgy tip at the back to shape my lips. This is super pigmented and creamy and you have to be a little careful. So this is the look up close and that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed this look and this video. Do not forget to check out my Instagram. I'm going to leave a link to it below and see all the other stuff I do on my clients and on my brides. That's all for today guys. I hope you liked it. Bye. Have a good one.